Hey guys, this is Civil Wolf 20 back from the dead once again to bring you another Pokemon battle. This is against IB Beast from Chatengo. And I will lead with my Butterfree named V. He will lead with a Gallade who I will put to sleep. Because putting things to sleep is what Butterfree does best, as a lot of battlers know. And what is the other thing Butterfree does best? Abuse Bug Buzz. But Galade wakes up on the second turn and is able to get off his Psycho Cut. And I'm like, please do not have Shadow Sneak. It does not. So Butterfree takes out uh, Galade. In comes for Alligator. I decide to st stun Spore, thinking it's a Dragon Dancer. But instead, it's a Sword Dancer. I'm like, ooh, okay. So I'm going to Bug Buzz. And does a fair amount of damage, and then he decides to rest. I'm like, okay, yes. Two free turns of Bug Buzz, and then on the third turn it dies. So I Bug Buzz the first time, and he has Sleep Talk. I'm like, fuck. So, after the first Sleep Talk, he gets another Sword Dance boost. And I Bug Buzz again, he goes for Sleep Talk again. And this time he gets Aqua Tail. So, I'm like, okay. Butterfree will go down, but I know it's asleep. And I know Tauros will out definitely outspeed it, so I bring Tauros in. I go straight for the body slam, and down goes for Alligator. I'm like, yay! In comes Blaze again. I protect just to see what it is going to go for. And then I switch to Makuza to take the Sky Uppercut like a champion. And I Weezing also takes the Blaze Kick like a champion. And I decide to start Thunderbolting just to try to paralyze this thing. Because if I paralyze it, I will outspeed it and will make it a lot more likely to KO it. So. A Thunderbolt again, it almost dies, and he's able to get the bulk up. So now his attack is going to be stronger, and now I'm thinking, please do, please live, please live, please live, please live. He lives, I'm able to get the Thunderbolts off one more time, and Blaziken dies. I'm like, yay! So, in comes Tyranitar, the Dragon Zord. And he stone edges, which will unfortunately KO Weezing. And I'm like, okay, time to bring in my old friend Heracross. <laughs> he switches out and goes into Aerodactyl while I close combat it to Oblivion with the help of a crit that I don't really think mattered all that much. Because, I think with the Choice Scarf, I would outspeed it on the second turn. So, I switch out when the Torterra comes in. I go to Lisa, who I know has Ice Beam. But unfortunately, this Torterra had Rock Polished. And it packs Earthquake. So, unfortunately... Unfortunately, Lisa will not survive. Sorry for the yawn there, folks. Uh, now I bring in Silver. I go for the Body Slam. And luckily, I am able to paralyze. And Torterra will lock itself into Outrage. So I'm like, okay. I'll take one, I'll take one more. Get it to KO range. And easily survived the second outrage. So. I do that. I easily live it. And Torterra will now con become confused. So his only hope is to switch out. If he wants to save Torterra. So he goes into Dragonzord again. And unfortunately for Tyranitar. I pack Iron Head. Which I will now use to put Tyranitar into KO range. And he flinches. So he knows that he has no way to win now. Tauros will outspeed both, so he just flees. 
So, good game, Beast. And this is Civil 20 saying see you guys later, and take care. Bye.